a new mural that is celebrating all things that have to do with birds. Ah, all right. The masterpiece <laughs> has been created by a local organization. Yes, indeed. And Molly Riel is out there this morning meeting a few of the artists with her very cool looking umbrella. Yes. It's a beautiful so Molly. cute. <laughs> Well, thank you, and it's a beautiful day to be bird watching, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. That's okay. <laughs> it's perfect. You know what? We don't have to see the real things. We can see this beautiful mural. Check this out. This is a partnership between Wide Open Walls, which have created incredible murals throughout our city, and the Audubon Society. And you can find it on uh, the corner of 9th and S at the Nature Conservancy. Now, I want to bring in David with Wide Open Walls and Mike with the Audubon Society. Uh, okay. Beautiful mural, uh, but the meaning behind it is even maybe more beautiful than the mural itself. Let's talk about this partnership, David. Well, I mean, we've got the Nature Conservancy where we've completed a couple murals in the past, and there really isn't a better spot to put a mural that involves the Audubon Society and the messaging that they're trying to get across, which is awareness of endangered species. Okay, and the bird in question, this is the Western Snowy Plover. Now, you may not have heard of it, and chances are you have not seen it in person. Uh, Mike, tell us a little bit about this bird and why you chose to put this one on the wall. Great. It's a great bird. It's found all over in California, but there's only about 20 or 2,000 um, of, the, of the birds left that are nesting out in the wild right now. And uh, they're hard to see on the beach, and often there's not enough habitat for them. And so they get disturbed. Uh, they don't have. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, no, they don't have a lot of protection. Yeah. You said a lot of times, like off-leash dogs will go up to them. So uh, they're so uh, hidden, if you will, and and their their uh, their nests aren't very well protected. Right, and it's a it's a problem we have for a lot of shorebirds. There's just not enough habitat, and their populations have declined by as many as 50 percent in the last several decades. And so what's great about something like this is that people that may never see a snowy plover can come by and see it here mm -hmm. and hopefully think about it and learn a little about it and figure out how we can help save them. Yeah, they might walk by and say, huh, what is that? I've never seen that bird before. It is so cute. And David, you have created a way for people who are wondering that uh, to figure out what it is and figure out how they could help. Right, there's always, um, this is all about learning opportunities when it comes right down to it. And what we do with all of our murals for Wide Open Walls is we put signage up there that'll give credit to not just the uh, sponsors and who we're working with, like the Audubon Society, but give them an opportunity to learn about it. There'll be a QR code on that signage. We hope to get that up in the next couple of weeks. Um, and you'll be able to learn a lot more about it and find out ways to support both the Audubon Society and the Nature Conservancy. Yeah, and Mike, you know, you have made a career out of you're a biologist who study birds, you do policy for birds for the Audubon Society. What does it mean for you to have this kind of community support and to think that people walking down the street or driving down the street will look at this and maybe, you know, care a little bit more about the thing you're so passionate about? Well, I think what's really great about it is even by putting on a wall like this, we're making space for nature right in the city. And that's what we really need to do in the city and out in the wild and on the coast is make enough space for nature where species like the western snowy plover can continue to thrive. That's a beautiful thing. Hearing that, making space for Yay. nature. I know. <laughs> There's a lot that you do with wide open walls, putting them in school. I mean, you're painting the city a more colorful place. But when you hear that, making more space for nature, what do you think, David? It makes my heart warm. Yeah. It makes it all worthwhile. It's a lot of work and a lot of effort, but it's one of the great things that we can accomplish. Just like you said, you had mentioned, doing all the work we're doing with schools, beautifying the neighborhoods, and making the community a little prettier. All right. Well, if that doesn't make your heart flutter a little bit, then uh, I don't know what will. So come see it for yourself at the Nature Conservancy. This is just one of three beautiful murals painted on the walls. Again, we're on 9th and S. And the rain stopped for us, so I guess we really was could be looking timing. for birds. Yeah, pretty sharp we're... umbrella you got right there. <laughs> how about that? We've got the guy to do it, too. <laughs> okay, we'll send it back to you guys. And you know how much <laughs> Tina loves birds. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling she's going to be taking a little field trip. I think so. Mm -hmm.